It seems that more and more information on Kirby Triple Deluxe is pouring out each week. Not long ago, we looked at all the new information on the Japanese website, and now the most recent Nintendo Direct has given us an even clearer look at how the game will play. So you know what that means. The old analysis machine is revved up and raring to go, so let's see what secrets we can find. Of course, be sure to watch our previous analyses as we'll be referring back to those from time to time in here. So let's see what Kirby has in store for us. Right off the bat, we see that Kirby pretty much controls as he did before with his slide kick returning. It's a small detail, but good to know nonetheless. Besides, the trailer has much more for us, including the remaining powers that Kirby can obtain. Awada has said that there will be around 20 powers to discover, and in this trailer alone we can see our first gameplay of Spear Kirby, Leaf Kirby, and Stone Kirby. But did you notice what Stone Kirby looks like? If you look closely, we can see that he formed a statue of his three animal buddies from Kirby's Dream Land 2, Kine, Rick, and Koo. It's a nice little nod and likely means that Stone Kirby can become statues of other things as well, like in the past. And then there's what Stone Kirby is sliding over in this section. Naughties. These little guys cause Kirby to fall asleep for a short time as Sleep Kirby, making it more of a punishment than a power. Of course, these aren't the only powers seen in the trailer. There's Whip Kirby, Wheel Kirby, and Parasol Kirby all acting just as they did in previous games. But the scene with Parasol Kirby has us a little intrigued. We see him gently falling down in line with the Waddle Dees, but they appear to be on multiple levels. Usually this means the ones in the background will try to attack Kirby, but no such thing happens here. Is this meant to just be a cute scene? However, there's one more power hiding in this trailer. During one of the stages for Kirby Fighters, we can clearly see Hammer Kirby on the right side. He even has DDD's classic rocket swing attack. And then there's the two new powers revealed in this trailer, Circus Kirby and Archer Kirby. Circus Kirby is a little different from past powers, not really matching anything we've seen before. He has the ability to leap through a flaming hoop to catch fire and land on enemies, balances on a ball to grind down things beneath him, or even use a trampoline to leap into the air and headbutt enemies. Kirby doesn't have to get in the air to hit things though. He can juggle instead, or even blow a giant balloon to hit everything around him. Archer Kirby, on the other hand, is something that we've seen a little of before, though it took a much different form. It's a lot like Flaming Arrow Kirby from Kirby 64, which combined needle and burning. It's obviously a lot more dynamic than that power, though. Archer Kirby mainly excels at long-range combat and can not only shoot directly ahead, but at various angles, too. He can even do a multi-hit shot while in the air or bash enemies with his bow at close range. It seems pretty standard at first until you see him charge up his shot for a super arrow, or hide behind some camouflage to avoid enemy projectiles. He can even fire from that cover, though it looks like it's only a super low shot. In total, it looks like Kirby has 23 powers in Triple Deluxe. There could be more, but we don't think that's the case since Awada would have said that there were around 25 in that case. Though, we suppose there is one more. Hypernova Kirby. We even got to see more of its uses, such as clearing out larger enemies to access special paths. The best example is when he eats the large worm to get to the star marked door on the other side. Understandably, the worm looks freaked out as Kirby sucks him down. There's even a really neat Easter egg as Hypernova Kirby opens a scroll to reveal the original level from Kirby's Dreamland in all its monochrome glory. But what happens when it's fully unrolled? Will there be a secret door? Is that the way you have to go? Or is it just a way to get a hidden keychain or sunstone? We're not sure, but even the outside of the scroll is adorned with the Game Boy's D-pad, screen, and buttons. It's a great touch for longtime fans. But perhaps the best example of the power of Hypernova Kirby is when he devours the huge eel by the tongue. And the thing is obviously huge since you can see it in the background and it just keeps going. Where does Kirby put it all? The big question of this scene is that it doesn't seem like Hypernova Kirby could do this right away. Right from the start, the eel had X's over its eyes, so Kirby knocked it out somehow. There aren't any obvious objects in the scene that could have done that though, so how did Kirby defeat him? The trailer also shows off some new examples of how the background and foreground will interact with each other. In one scene, we see an object in the foreground fall backwards to almost hit Kirby, so things won't always be heading toward the camera. And did you spot the food item nearby? It looks like the curry. But is it normal curry or the super spicy curry that hasn't been seen in a Kirby platformer since the very first? In another scene, we see Waddle Dee pushing a contraption in the background that slowly slings spiked arms into the foreground. But it raises the question, do the Waddle Dees and other enemies become slaves to Duranza when he captures DDD? It probably won't be answered since normal Kirby enemies rarely have a reason to fight Kirby. Even in Return to Dreamland, they fought him when DDD was right there with him. And speaking of King DDD, it looks like his musical game will be a completely separate mode rather than integrated into the story itself. We also see several new stages in this trailer, including ones based on a swamp, 
a desert, and a volcano. Pretty standard stuff, but the interplay between the level's layers should keep things interesting. And that definitely goes for the Kirby Fighters mode, too. It looks to play similar to Super Smash Bros. with four players battling it out on various stages. The difference is the fighters will all be different Kirby forms, and there's an actual life meter that's two bars long. Looking at the fighters themselves, it looks like all the standard offensive abilities will be front and center, since we can see Sword, Cutter, Ninja, Beam, Hammer, Archer, Whip, Parasol, and Fighter Kirby all present. The Smash Brothers influence is also present in the stage designs themselves. Each one is based on a past Kirby level and can either be pretty standard or laden with traps. The first level is based after the first level of Triple Deluxe and doesn't look to have any traps. We're not sure what the second is based off of, but players will have to watch out for the hammers as they slam down occasionally. The third is designed after the boss battle with La 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 and Lo 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 in Kirby's Dream Land. It looks like the two of them will continue to push items around while players avoid them. Next up is a stage designed after the boxing ring where you fought DDD in Superstar. Just like in that game, you can see tons of characters in the background including Waddledoo, Sparky, Poppy Brothers Jr., Sir Kibble, and Naughty. Even DDD makes an appearance to throw Waddledees into the fray. The final stage zone looks to be based on the Another Dimension from Return to Dream Land. Like the Triple Deluxe stage, there doesn't seem to be any hazards. But but it seems like every stage will have food and offensive items appear in it. The food appears randomly, but the offensive items are actually delivered via the city trial boxes from Kirby Air Ride. So far, the only two offensive items seen, though, are the Cracker Firework Shooter and some kind of Time Bomb. Is it possible that the other items, like the Stomper Boot, will also make an appearance? However, the biggest mystery in Kirby Fighters is what this countdown timer is when Parasol Kirby is knocked out. Is it a timer to switch your power for a defeated opponents? Or can you revive fallen opponents like in Power Stone? Or is it something else completely? We honestly have no idea. What we do know is that Kirby Triple Deluxe is shaping up to be an incredibly good looking game. Thanks for watching and if you liked this video be sure to like us on Facebook or follow us on Twitter at GameXplain. And make sure to stay tuned as we cover more on Kirby and other things gaming too.